Brett Butler is here, and he's already celebrating Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. Woohoo! I'm uh, surprised you've never had a Sazerac. I, well, I, 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 I have figure to, you have it. But Sazerac. I've never even heard that word before. But every time so. I've been to New Orleans, I've always been been lured into having a hurricane. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough, because yeah. it's it's a big cocktail out there. Yeah. Sazerac is now the official cocktail of Louisiana as of 2008. So we're going to make this really quick, very simple. Uh, invented by a man named Antoine uh, Peychaud, which has these amazing Peychaud, it's bitters. So we're going to throw these in there. We're going to do two or three dashes in here. I have some sugar cubes in here. We're going to throw some Angostura aromatic bitters in here. Now we're going to add a little water just to kind of break up the sugar a little bit, just a little bit like that. Oh, my muddler has disappeared, so we're just going to do the spoon, and we're going to break up the sugar in here. It's a little bit like that. So <clears throat> uh, Antoine owned a local apothecary in New Orleans, um, turn of the 19th century. And so he invented this cocktail and it's absolutely amazing. It's very subtle. So we have all of this. What we do is we're going to, we have a uh, glass rinse with ice. It's been cold, so we're gonna throw this in here. Gonna add our alcohol. I have a combination of the rye, again, hard truth, amazing mm. stuff yes. that they make, right? So we're gonna do, um, you know, about an ounce and a half of rye. Now, the original cocktail took cognac because the name Sazerac came from a brand of cognac that Antoine Peychaud used to enjoy. So that's where the, the name came from, oh. uh, Sazerac, was from some cognac. So I'm going to do a little bit of both. I want to keep it old school, so we're going to add some cognac in here as well. And that's really it. Very simple. Then we're going to give this a nice stir. About 20 seconds, so we're going to have Not the bitters shake, in here. Right? Not it's shake, That's right. We went through that already. So clear liquid, you just stir in the cocktail. No egg white involved, so we don't need to shake anything. We're going to use about 20 seconds, and then we have a cold, uh, a cold chill glass. What we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of absinthe. This is kind of the key ingredient. Ooh, what is that? So the absinthe has got an anise flavor. We're going to do about a quarter ounce. We're going to throw it in here. So the absinthe uh, is a key ingredient in Peychaud uh, bitters because this has a little anise flavor. So this just adds a little subtlety, depth to the cocktail. All I'm doing is I'm doing just a little bit of a ritz. We're going to kind of wrap it around the glass like this, but we're not going to keep it in here because it's really strong. So we're just going to pour it in here and what's called a rinse or a wash. And then... We're going to drain the cocktail. No ice. It's served actually in a rocks glass, which is ironic. Why, uh -huh. why wouldn't you serve it in like a coupe or a, a martini glass? Um, just very different. That's why there's so many unique things about this cocktail. Well, I'll tell you, I'm less up. likely to knock that glass over. So You're like going to express mm -hmm. the lemon over this, mm -hmm. just like that. So all these wow. essential oils get a pop I right in it. there. It adds a little depth to the cocktail. But again, hmm. per this cocktail, you don't put this in the drink. You actually discard it. And then there you have George, the I'm going to pass that on over. Okay, so every right. little Mardi Gras staple, is really purposeful. yummy. Where yeah. can we get more of you? Do you do your teaching on social? I do in-home cocktail classes. I'm at the Winter Farmers Markets, and I'm on social as Alchemy Life, A L C O My Life. Alchemy Life Ooh. is where you can find me. Uh, Alchemy this, Life. This Leave is it. very nice. It's very Leave strong. It. But right. it is very nice. It's got some depth to it. Yes, some interesting it's, ingredients in play. It's got, a, um, I think, a richness is the way I would describe it. But if it. you're at Mardi Gras, do you really care how strong things are? Like, you kind of, you kind of, oh, guy, just want that. Folks, that is uh, it for us.